Hello and welcome to another video of Lose Lab. This time we're going to discuss the top 10 and the top 8 best movies in Harry Potter. Now, I like all the films, but like, some of the films are better than the others, and it's only my opinion. Anyways, 8th spot is the 6th movie. Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. Like, the story was very boring. There isn't much action, and... Why did you kill Dumbledore? Okay, and seventh spot is Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. It, it does have a stupid story, but the only reason I didn't... The reason that I put I didn't put it in the eighth spot is because of the action and duel of <clears throat> the Basilisk and Harry Potter. Like I it was so it was so cool. And it's the reason why I didn't put it at the eighth spot. Sixth spot is <clears throat> The Goblet of Fire. So much happens in the book yet yeah, and movies, yes. There's lots of action going on, but like I find the Quidditch World Cup quite interesting and I wanted to see the action there and plus <coughs> the duel against I mean the part that I mean, oh, sorry. How do I say it? How do I say it? Um, Lily? I mean, it contains way too much romance, including because of the Yule Ball and... Why you destroy Hogwarts? Like, at the first half, at the first task, Hogwarts was actually broken. Like, you know that. And, fifth spot is <clears throat> Harry Potter in the, is it Sorcerer's or Philosopher's Stone? Now, this movie doesn't contain a lot of action, and it was quite boring at the end, but the before movies had way too stupid stories to actually be better than this book. I mean, movie. And third spot is, <clears throat> in my opinion, well, duh. Actually, it's the fourth spot. The fourth spot is... Deathly Hallows Part 1. Like, it was a stupid story, but I liked when Ron destroyed the whole crux, the chase, and their escape. The reason that I didn't put it at any of the top three is because... WHY YOU KILL DOBBY? HOW DARE YOU? Third spot is Deathly Hallows Part 2. I really liked the Hogwarts battle and there was a lot of action in this movie. Second spot is Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. Like, it is a fun story and it's when we first see Sirius actually in the movie, and <clears throat> it's the first time Harry learned about Dormentors and the Patronus charm. It's, and I like the scene where Harry was first able to conjure a full Patronus. Like, that was so cool. Now, second move, I mean, the first spot is... Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. 
quite a lot of people agree with me. It has so much action, and <clears throat> I like the introduction of Dumbledore's army. <clears throat> and the part I liked the most was the epic duel against Albus Dumbledore. Albus Percival, Wolf of Brian Dumbledore, and Tom Marvel Riddle. How did I even remember that? Now that, now that scene had incredible effects with <coughs> lots of action. Anyways, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, like and subscribe, and bye!